welcome to Bloom and Wild's online flower tutorial. I'm Harriet Parry and today we're going to be learning how to make, drum roll please, flower crowns. Here's one I made earlier, et voila. And yeah, making flower crowns is such a super fun activity um, for all ages um, to do with your, with your friends and your family. Um, it's perfect for doing together over your online chats, um, your Zoom meetings, and also perfect to wear to all those Zoom parties you're going to be going to. Um, yeah, it's really, really fun. And yeah, it's really calming as well. So yeah, I'm going to be using today the Rosy Bouquet from Bloom and Wild, one of their letterbox flowers. But the one I made earlier, I actually went out and foraged some flowers from the garden. So I've got some little blue weeds here and some ivy and different bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, you can use any flowers you can get your hands on. Foraging in the garden for a sort of very sort of whimsical spring design. Um, or you can use flowers from your um, supermarket when you go to get your weekly essentials. And there's also Bloom Wild as well, of course. Um, so let's go through what you'll need. I'm going to be using floristry materials, but um, I've had a little play with some different different ways using things that I think that you guys might have at home. So you'll need something for a base. So I'm going to be using aluminium wire here. Um, but you could also use string if you've got any string. Um, ribbon, you could use ribbon as a base. Um, other types of wire, electrician's wire, um, garden wire. Um, I've also, if you've got one of these headbands, they're great for a base, a ready-made headband. Um, you'll also need some tape. I'm using stem tape, um, which is another floristry tape. Um, but you could use sellotape, masking tape. Um, yeah, just have a play. So, oh, and also you'll need some ribbon for attaching it. So yeah, I'm, I've already cut, you're not going to use the whole stem for flower crowns, all you use is basically the heads. So I pre-cut some little bits, but I might sort of cut them shorter, um, cut them down again, because I won't use a large sum like that, that'll probably break down into two. So I've got those here already. So the first thing you want to do is measure your head. I'm just doing a crown to across the front. If you want to do an all the way around, you need to measure your head, the length of the circumference of your head. So here, this I've pre-measured. So this is just behind my ears. And I've just left it a little bit longer on each side because we're gonna create hoops on either end to attach the ribbon later. So the first thing you want to do is create your hoop. So I'm just going to bend my wire into two hoops here. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my tape. I pre-ripped some sections off earlier so you don't have to keep ripping while you're making. Um, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so back to this. So once you've got your hoop, you want to secure with your tape the ends. So I'm just going to wrap this around here like this. Okay, I'm going to do the other end. Okay. Okay, and when I start my flower crown, you can either sort of you can either lay your flowers out in the order that you want to add to your flower crown or just go with the flow. I always like to go with the flow. I think it's more fun that way. Um so yeah, so I'm the first thing I do is I start at the bottom at the one end. You're going to work in the same direction and you want to cover your hoop okay and I always start with something a little bit sort of fluffy with a bit of a point I'm just going to trim a few little bits down there 
Okay, I almost make like tiny little bunches of like a couple of stems and then add them on. So I'm going to add on that here. Take off all of your, any little bits of greenery. Um, so you've got a clean bit of stem. You want about an inch of your stem. And lay it on your wire. So I've, see I've just covered that, covered the hoop. Just going to tape, do a little bit of tape here. Just want to wrap it round so it's secure. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to Choose my next flowers, little bits of this. Okay. And then I'm just going to lay it on my base and you sort of lay it almost in a zigzag fashion. So I've got my first piece here, so I'm going to go to the left. So it's covering the stem. And then I'm just going to put another piece of tape around the stems here. Okay, make sure they're secure. Okay. Then I'm going to pop another bit of yellow in. Here's my solid, there you go. A couple of little sprigs of that. Okay, so make a little bunch. Hold on, please. And then I'm going to move down like this. So I'm filling in the gaps. I'm sort of doing this one, two, in, in sort of a zigzag fashion whilst moving down. That's that's sort of your action. Okay, another bit of tape. Now you want to add your flowers. You don't want them too close that they're all squashing each other, but you don't want them too far apart because when you put your flower crown on, you might have some gaps. So we'll tape that. Okay. We'll do another little bunch. Might get a little bit of white in here. Let's get rid of these stocks. That's got quite a thick stem so I'm just going to put that on its own. I've got a gap on the other side so I'm going to go to the left but still covering the stems and moving down. And I'm going to attach, attach with my tape. Okay. I'm going to do another bit of yellow. Now you might want to do a flower crown which starts sort of finer at the top with sort of flowers that are sort of good for coverage with little heads like the Solidago or your Sweet William. And then you might want to move to the middle and have a sort of a focal flower, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, just go with the flow, see how you feel what your vibe is for that day. Okay, so I'm just adding that another little bunch on. I'm going to tape it. So I'm still moving down my base, filling in the gaps in the same direction. I'm going to add a bit of purple in. See, look, this is the thing. Just go with the flow. I'm probably going to make, um, wear this flower crown around the house today. Maybe I'll make a flower crown every day and uh, wear it wear it around the house, make people smile. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to tape it again. There we go. So you see how I'm slowly moving down. So I've been going left to write almost in a zigzag fashion, in the same direction moving down. 
And if I just bend it, there we go, no gaps. So yeah, continue doing that all the way down to your loop on the other side. And if you want some wild bits, if you want to make it more wild with longer bits, just keep your, don't cut your flowers down as short, keep them longer, but still remember to take off any sort of little bits of leaf or petal um, where you're going to tape it onto your base so it's easier. Okay, so that's longer, you see, so that sort of sticks up a little bit more. Put that in there, put some more tape on. So keep taping. Moving down. A little bit of purple in here. And if you've got any stems that are too long, because you don't want to have your stems that are too long, that they stick out, just give them a trim. But you also want to make sure that you don't cut your stems too short because they tend to fall out. The tape doesn't secure them. So yeah, you want to make sure all of your little bits of stems are covered in tape. Good. Oh, I forgot about these. I'm going to bring in a pop of yellow, a big pop of yellow in the form of a Crespedia. Let me get some green bells. Trim off them. Some more tape. Oh, it's all everywhere. There we go. Good little tip is to just keep looking in the mirror just to see if you like the design. I'm going to put a bit of more yellow in. There we go. This is so, this is frilly, fluffy flowers are so good because they're just so good for coverage. Keep a lookout for gaps. Um, so this is why I sort of always suggest doing a zigzag because you've got. Even though you've got the front, you need to remember you're going to see it from the sides when you're wearing it. Um, so yeah, just going to pop that slightly to the right, you see, my following my laying in my zigzag movement. And just remember, remind them, just don't, don't tape them too close together, but don't tape them too far apart. It's that happy medium, that happy balance, like everything in life, eh? that I'm actually sort of I've got sort of starting to get sort of a balance like my I've got a bit of yellow here then I've got a bit of yellow here and then now I'm gonna have a bit of yellow here and vice versa I've got a bit of purple I've got a bit of purple there seems to be some sort of subconscious pattern that I'm creating but yeah I'm not really thinking about it which I think is the best way to go about it it's best not to plan too many things right because we don't have control of our lives sometimes. Go with the flow. Okay. Oops. 
bit of a fiddly one. Another yellow Aspedia, maybe a green bell. So yeah, as I mentioned before, sometimes I'm I'm sort of creating little bunches before I put them on my base, and then other times I'm sort of just adding them, adding one, and thinking, oh, I'll add another while holding the other one on the base. So you'll soon. As you're moving down, you'll soon sort of get the hang of it really quickly. And then you'll have this amazing skill for life. So I'm just, I'm coming to the end now. So when you're about an inch, half an inch from the end of your loop on the other end, um, we've been traveling in one direction, adding our flowers in the same direction. This time I want you to just flip it round. We're just gonna add a piece to finish off and sort of to mirror the other side. I started with a bit of this solidago in this sort of like point. Um, so I'm going to end with that. Just a, a nice sort of neat ending. So I'm just going to gather maybe a piece of green bell. Okay. What we want to do is we've been going in this direction. You just want to go in the opposite direction to cover your loop. So I'm just going to place that neatly there and add a piece of tape. Okay. Make sure it's nice and attached. There we go. So you see how you've got two ends. Okay, there we go. Please. Oh, I'm pleased. We're all going to look like May Queens, aren't we? We're going to make so many people happy wearing these. I'll tell you that now. On our one bit of exercise while we're riding our bike, going for our walk. Let's all uh, put our flower crowns, of course, if you're riding a bike, flower crown over the helmet, please. Safety first. <laughs> all right. Back to it. Ribbon. So I've cut some ribbon here. You could also use your string. You could also, if you want a more rustic look, um, whatever you've got. So I've created, I've kept mine long because I like a bit of drama. Um, so what we'll do, I've cut my ribbon length and I'm going to have a double ribbon. So I'm just going to put it through here, through my loop. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure it's the same length, but I'm just going to tie it. You don't have to have double ribbon. ribbon. You could do single ribbon and just tie a knot there. You can have multicolored ribbon, you can put lots of different ribbon. However you feel, whatever your style, make a flower crown to match your style. Okay. There we go. I've got two flower crowns. I'm going to gift this to a neighbour later. Okay. Let's pop it on, put a tie. And now you've learned how to make a flower crown, 
you'll be able to make flower crowns for all those parties in the future, weddings, festivals. Um, and also, I will, will mention, the technique that you've just learned is exactly the same. If you wanted to make it shorter, um, a shorter one, you can make a wrist corsage. So you just do exactly the same thing, but you'd make it to fit your wrist. So you'd measure it to fit your wrist. Also, another thing which exactly the same, you don't have to wear it on your head. You could wear it as a flower necklace as well. See, the possibilities are endless. Or a sash, make it really long. Or a belt. So yeah, it's the same, same process for all of those things. Um, and yeah, before I love and leave you, um, tips to keep your flower cr crown um, fresh and lasting longer. Give it a spritz with water and pop it in the fridge um, and it'll last till tomorrow. Um, so yeah. And also we would love to see, don't forget to send in your pictures with hashtag flower hour. Um, we love seeing your creations at Blue and Wild, so um, they always make us happy. Um, but yeah, enjoy making your flower crowns, enjoy wearing them and spreading the love and spreading the flower power. Um, so all I want to say is stay safe, stay positive, stay happy and lots of love from me and from Bloom and Wild. And we'll see you next time on another Flower Hour Flower Tutorial. Lots of love.